when games get it so right, it's scary. Here you've got two oversized sprites moving awkwardly and without very refined control, almost like they were two Japanese dudes in rubber suits duking it out inside a scale model of a town. Funny how that works. Still, Ultraman and other tokusatsu heroes were an integral part of many Japanese childhoods, with deeds that live on in story and song. That song is, most often, the first Dr. Wily theme for Mega Man 2, but no matter. Here's the digital representation of two dudes in rubber suits wailing on each other. If you've seen my review of what we in the States refer to as Ultraman for the Super Nintendo, this will look very similar, but a bit different. They are, in fact, two different games based on two different series. The one more familiar to us was based on the Towards the Future series produced in Australia in 1990, while this Japanese version hails from the original TV series from 1966. The monsters are different, but the basic gameplay idea is the same. Beat the hell out of some space invader until its health bar is depleted, and hit it with the biggest attack you've got, because, in true tokusatsu form, nothing else is actually capable of defeating the enemy. Sure, you could do some damage with your other powers, as offered by the orange bars at the bottom center of the screen, but you don't want that. Because if you spend that energy, then you've just got to kill time until you've charged back up to the Specium Ray so that you can actually, you know, win. Slowly over the course of the fight, both you and the monster regain strength, and of course this will result in at least one instance where they tick back to a pixel of health just as you're about to land the kill shot and you've got to stand around until it recharges. Also, you're on a three-minute timer for each skirmish. And these aliens aren't interested in making small talk. All right, so the mechanics are kind of weird, but at least the controls are absolutely painful. I won't lie, I've had bowls of jello more responsive than this game. You've got a forward roll, evasive backflip, jump, super jump, drop kick, which works for the first three monsters or so, deflection barrier that works for the first five monsters or so, a couple grapple attacks, and none of them seem to fire quickly enough or accurately enough in the heat of battle. The physics and hit detection are laughable, and the difficulty is intense. Doesn't help, then, that you've got three lives and no word in your vocabulary that scans to anything like continue. You're meant to get through ten battles, each more vicious than the last. I made it through four, a feat which took the venerable Kacho several hours and a couple assistants. Perhaps if friend of the show, Osamu and Ibaraki, were to send me some squid snacks and a bright orange tie, I'd stand a better chance. Instead, he sent... Well, he sent me Harakawase. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go play some Mega Man just to get this song out of my head. 